Yo, what is up everybody? Prestige or Mad Luigi here with some Borderlands the Pre-Sequel gameplay. Today I'm going to be showing you something really cool. I did not find it, however, I want to share it with you guys. It is another secret boss. Most of you guys probably know about Iwajiwa. If you do not, go check out my thingy rocket launcher guide. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to farm, how to activate and farm Nell who is a second boss in this game second kind of secret boss you have to know what to do to get to him and kill him and get his legendary so hope you guys enjoy the video all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to regolith range you can access this by going to serenity and driving over to where you go to fight deadlift this is the only way to get to it because you cannot fast travel to it. You can drive in from the other side, and if you have the skipper unlocked, I think you should be able to do it. That way would probably be quicker than this way, but I was not sure if you could or not when I did this, so I just did it. So you went. I went past Deadlift, killed Deadlift. He, I haven't finished the game right now yet, so he's still level 30. You run over here to the Dahl way station, and you're going to go to the building on the right for to activate... Nell, uh, you're going to need to find two letters and put them on a place and they're going to call him a dick because there's a side quest in which for a guy that you die, for a guy that you kill, you have to call, for a guy that dies, to fulfill his last request, you have to call him a dick, to call Nell a dick. And this, I think you can only unlock this after you do the mission to do it, so it's a little different than Iwo where you can't just hop into it. So you're going to see... Uh, you're going to hop on this building and start parkouring up it. You actually do not need a grenade jump for this part. I think I misclicked F. But yeah, you don't need a grenade jump to get on here. The other building that you'll get the second letter on, you will need a grenade jump. But this one, is, this this specific jump is kind of hard, but you definitely don't need it. See, I just got it e pretty easily without doing it, even though I failed a few times. So you're going to be picking up a D and a K, I believe. Here up on this building is the lead, uh, the D, and the other building is going to be the K. You see the other building is just the other tallest building uh, kind of parallel to this. I don't know. It, that's the spot where we're going to put it on this building. You saw the I and the C, so it's going to spell D-I-C-K, Dick. And you're going to go over here, go to the side. I don't think it'll work from the other side. It can only uh, work from this side closer to where you come in from. So you're going to hop on these first couple things. You won't need a grenade jump till you hit this third object you stand on. I don't think you can do it without grenade jumping. So just de-choose, deselect your grenade mod and chuck your normal grenade at the ground and it'll and jump at the right time and it'll burst you up and do your little jetpack Ozkit thing and then you got up one and go to another one. This one, make sure you're not standing too close to the walls. And if you stand too close to the wall, you'll get knocked back by the little overhanging arch. So you see, there also are chests here, so if they're to your level, then it's some good loot. So you're going to pick up that. However, all of this stuff is level around 30, because I think that's that's the level I was when I went through this area. However, when you activate Nell, he's going to be level 50, 51, if you're in true Vault Hunter mode. And also, he spawns in a bunch of scavs that you're going to have to kill before he fights you. See, he's going to get mad right now. Yeah, see, he's getting mad. But you can't fight him. He's going to be green, just undamage undamageable, like a normal friendly NPC, until you kill all of the scabs that attack you. And all of the scabs that attack you are 48 to 50 range, 51 range. So it is a tough fight. You see, I sped up a little bit of it. This is only, like, I'd say about half the fight. It is a pretty, it's a pretty tough fight. I actually got some better gear later on, and I farmed him again, and I just went by so fa so much faster because I had uh, the laser that you get for being in the game. So you're going to go through, kill everyone, and then Nell will attack you. He is fire-based. I think he has a Nova shield, and he throws fire grenades. So if you have a fire impervious shield, it should help a lot. He's not too hard of a boss. Like, I have the shotgun, and I kill him fairly fast, and you see he also just throws fire. He's just big on the fire. So you're going to just... Just shoot him. He spawns some more guys when you're fighting him. So be on the lookout for that. Those get you can get yourself up on those guys if he downs you. Like see, I'm getting I'm gonna get myself self up on the moonstruck. I think I think I'll get myself up on him. Maybe I won't, and then I'll have to kill Nell from the beginning. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, I get myself up. Nice. So you do that, kill Nell, and he has a chance. I only know of one thing he has a chance to drop, which is a legendary sniper rifle that the name is 
left me at a blank since I, I, I just forget what the name is. However, I was really lucky. I didn't get it this first time I killed him for the video. However, I went back one time. One time, I killed him. I got the Legendary Sniper, and it was level 50 because I killed him at level 50. You see it right there. I just kind of clean up the rest of the bandits that are there from when Nell spawned them. And then I'm going to go drop something, pick up the sniper rifle. It's a pretty good sniper rifle. I'm going to do a review about it. So look for my ch look on my channel for the review of that sniper rifle. It's a six shot. Let's see, what is it called? It's called the Skull Masher. The Tacope, I think, is just the prefix since I have another Tacope uh, sniper rifle that's unique. I think it's just the prefix for the melee, large melee damage. So yeah, it's powerful and it's timed six shots. So I think it's pretty good. And that's how to farm the Nell, the secret, second secret boss, and the legendaries, and get a legendary sniper rifle out of it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and hope you guys can go find Nell and kill him, and call him a dick, and get a sniper rifle. And make sure you stay on the lookout for other Borderlands, the pre-sequel content I'm going to be putting out, since I will be putting out a lot. Thanks.